Hey everybody, what I want to talk about today is how to speed up your Gatsby builds using parallel image processing. And the way we're going to do that is by taking advantage of some open source features in Gatsby and a little library written by Matt Billman. And that is going to allow us to uh, send all of the work of processing images out to uh, parallel processes instead of having to do it all in the main Gatsby build. So a little bit of information before we get started. This is still pretty experimental. Um, the, the, the plugin that we're using, Gatsby Parallel Runner, it's working and it's great. But keep in mind, this is a computer talking to a computer. Things can get interrupted. Things can get lost. So you may have to restart a build every once in a while if you do this. Uh, what I found is that it doesn't happen often. And when it does happen, just restarting tends to solve the problem. But with that caveat, I think this is something great. Like if you have a site that is using a lot of images like this one here that has um, a couple hundred huge images in there and these images range anywhere from about 400 kilobytes to I think the biggest one is about eight and a half megabytes. And a site like this is going to build notably faster, almost twice as fast by using this parallelization. The way that we're gonna start this is we're going to actually just create a new site from Git so I'm gonna to go to the Netlify dashboard. I, I clicked the create new site. Now I'm gonna to go to GitHub. And I own this repo. If you uh, want to do this as well, you'll wanna fork it first. And then in here in my repos, I'm going to search for image. Uh, we'll get image processing in here. Here it is. So I'm going to do the sites by Blitz Jackson. That's my team. I'm gonna deploy the master branch. We're gonna use the Gatsby build command and let's go ahead and deploy this thing. So what's happening in this process is Netlify is getting the build bot and then Gatsby is gonna run. And the Gatsby process moves through several phases and those phases are going to include downloading external data, creating nodes, uh, building the HTML and JavaScript and CSS for the page. Um, but the one that we're most concerned about here is it's going to generate thumbnails. So. Gatsby has support for a library called Sharp, and Sharp is really, really powerful. And what Sharp does is takes an image and generates multiple versions of it at different sizes and resolutions so that Gatsby can then use that to do lazy loading and responsive images and a lot of things that make your sites much, much faster. However, that is a lot of work. And so Sharp has to work really hard to make those different versions of images. When we have the build running, by default, Sharp has to run in the same process that Gatsby's running in, which means it's kind of limited. How many cores do you have? How much memory is available? All those sorts of things. And really, that's as much as the machine can do. By adding parallel processing, what we're hoping to do is remove those machine restrictions. We can send out as many image jobs as we want to as many parallel functions as we want and then get those results back as they finish, which is how we get the huge benefits that we're, we're aiming to add today. Okay, so our site's built, and if we take a look here, we can see that the site took about six and a half minutes to build. All right, um, so we want to improve that, and the way we're gonna do that is by using Gatsby Parallel Runner. The way that Gatsby Parallel Runner works is that under the hood, it's using Google Cloud, and what that means is that Gatsby Parallel Runner starts Gatsby as a child process. When Gatsby runs as a child process using this en enable Gatsby external jobs, it will then be able to pass tasks outside of itself to another process, which in our case is gonna be Google Cloud Functions. Um, so we're gonna set up Google Cloud PubSub, which allows Gatsby to communicate outside of itself and send those jobs off to other places. We're going to use cloud functions to actually do the work. We're going to run Sharp in a cloud function. And then we're also going to use Google Cloud Storage in case the images are big enough that they don't fit inside of a PubSub message. So those are the three things that we're going to set up. So let's head over to the Google Cloud dashboard and get started. And it looks like I've used about 40 cents in, in uh, credits during all the testing that I've done on this. So, um, you know, it, it looks like it's not gonna be free, but it is really cheap. So if this is something that is important to your business, um, it's going to be, uh, I think, a, a pretty good thing. So let's start from scratch here. I'm gonna start a new project and we will call this project 
Gatsby parallel images, and I'm going to create it. Okay, now that that's created, I can select it. And inside of here, we're going to enable a few things. So the first thing that we want to enable is PubSub. So we're going to choose Subscriptions PubSub, and that uh, just walks through the process of enabling it, especially the API, which is what we're going to need. Once that is done, we're going to look up Cloud Storage, and we need the Storage JSON API. And the last thing that we need is Cloud Functions. And there are a few options in here. I'm not 100% sure what the difference is between all of them, but I know that this one works. So select this one that says Cloud Functions and nothing else. Now, once this is set up, we're going to go into I am an admin and look at service accounts because what we want to do is enable machine to machine communication. We're going to have the Netlify build process communicate to Google Cloud. All right, so we're going to create a service account using the create service account button. We'll give this a name like Gatsby Parallel and then we'll hit create. Inside here, we're going to need two sets of permissions. First, we need to be able to create cloud storage buckets, and that's for any images that are too big to fit in the PubSub. And then we also need to add the ability to create and send and receive messages from uh, PubSub topics. So we'll start with the storage. And storage admin, because we need to be able to create those buckets, I haven't been able to find which storage options would give you that permission without being an admin. If anybody knows Google Cloud better than I do, please let me know. And we're going to add another role and we're going to get the PubSub editor. So we only need editor, we don't need admin. So we can add that and then we can hit continue. Next, we're going to create a key. We want that key to be JSON and then we'll hit create. And it's going to just download that right to our computer. So right now we've added the permissions but we actually need to deploy those. Okay, so we need a couple things here. The first thing that we need is a Google application credentials environment variable. And for that, we are able to just use the path to our credentials that we just downloaded. So we can add the, the Gatsby parallel images. Um, then we're going to add a worker topic. Now the worker topic needs to be unique for your entire Google account. You can share it between sites. So any site that is going to be powered by this Google account, you can use, um, you can use the same worker topic for, but it has to be globally unique because it's going to create buckets and, and you can't have collisions there. I'm whatever I name it, you can't name it. So choose a unique name. We'll call this parallel video topic. Then we need to choose a topic for our site. This is to identify the site. You want these to be unique among sites so that you don't get collisions if two sites are sending uh, or building at the same time and they're using the same worker topic. They could cause all sorts of havoc. So you want these to be uh, unique. So we'll call it site one, two, three, four. That's uh, that's something that you will want to change for sure. Then I'm going to run npx Gatsby parallel runner deploy. NPX lets us run Gatsby Parallel Runner without having to globally install it. And deploy will just run through the process of adding our uh, Google Cloud resources. Now, an important thing to note here is that I have already installed the Google Cloud SDK. So if you don't have that, you're going to need it. So go to the Google Cloud SDK and find your appropriate system. So I'm on a Mac, so I would click this one, and it's, um, it's relatively straightforward. They've done a good job of, of documenting this. So um, you can just download this file, and once you get that, it gives you a, a script to run that will install the, the G Cloud API tools on your machine. Um, you don't need to know very much about what these do. That's all handled by the Gatsby Parallel Runner, but you do need to install it before you run the Gatsby Parallel Runner. So once we've got those installed, I can run this command. 
Here, it's asked us if we can use, if we want to allow unauthenticated invocations of the function. This is going to be the function that actually processes our pub sub images, and we don't need that to be allowed unauthenticated. So the n is our default option, uh, but just to be really sure, we can type n, hit enter. Now it's going to try to upload a function to handle storage. For large images, we put them into a Google Cloud storage bucket to make sure that we don't exceed the pub sub message size limit. And again, we don't need unauthenticated, so we're going to say no and continue. Now, once that completes, we're ready to roll. So we can actually uh, head over to Netlify and get this thing to work. So one thing to note here, this repo already has Gatsby Parallel Runner installed. So if you're using a different repo, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you go to that repo and install Gatsby Parallel Runner um, before we do this next step. So in Netlify, what I'm going to do is go to my deploy settings and I'm gonna start here by editing. I'm gonna set this to Gatsby Parallel Runner. That is the command that will run Gatsby as a child process and take advantage of this Google Cloud setup we just added. So I'll save that. Then I'm going to go to my environment variables and I'm going to add some. So we want to add all the same things that we just did. Google, app, Google application credentials. We want to add a worker topic and we want to add a topic. Now for our site, we can make the site name the same as our site if we want. And for the worker topic, we want to match whatever we just used to create it. So we can hit the up button in our terminal to see what we just used. Parallel video topic. Okay. Now here we hit an issue because we used a relative path and this file is not going to exist on Netlify. So we need to get this a different way. Fortunately, Google allows us to do this as a base64 encoded string. To get a base64 string version of our credentials, I'm going to use a command called base64, give it an input file, and give it the path to our credentials. Then, because I don't necessarily need to print that out on screen, I'm going to pipe that into pbcopy. Now it's important to note that pbcopy is a Mac command, so if you are not on a Mac, this may not work for you, but that's okay. You can just run this part, the base64i and the path to your credentials, and that'll output a big string that you can copy paste. But if you're on a Mac, pbcopy makes this nice and easy. So I'm gonna run pbcopy. It looks like nothing happened, but then when I come over here, all my credentials are there. So now I can save this, and we've got everything saved. We are ready to roll. So let's go back up, go to our deploys, and we are going to trigger a deploy. So an important note here, it's now using Gatsby Parallel Runner. So it still runs Gatsby just like usual, but instead of having, to, instead of using Gatsby as a uh, parent process, it's now running Gatsby in a child process, which means that it, we can send out messages to Google Cloud. And if we look, the image thumbnails happen much faster. So this time it took about 78 seconds to build 2,140 images. And we can see here that it did them at about 27 and a half images per second, which is really fast. So if we come up here and look at our deploys, we can see that now we're deploying in two minutes, 21 seconds versus six minutes and 37 seconds before. And if we come down and look at this, uh, this Gatsby output from the original build, we can see that those image thumbnails took 263 seconds and we were running at about eight images per second. So this is a notable impact and it only takes a few minutes to set up. So it's a little bit complicated, it's a little bit experimental, but it has huge benefits. So this is something that is really, really cool that's happening in the Gatsby open source repo and with the use of Gatsby Parallel Runner, you're able to get these tremendous build time improvements. Um, so big props to the Gatsby team for doing this work to enable parallelization. Big props to Matt Billman for doing the work to build the parallel runner and um, go out, 
have fun. If you've got image heavy sites, enjoy the much faster build times.